everyone welcome back to my channel today i will be sharing my recipe for oil or parata roti to get started here i have some all-purpose flour i have some more flour here for dusting i'll be using some butter flavored shortening i have some oil baking powder a little salt and some water let's jump right in so you want to start by adding your salt and baking powder to the flour and mix the combine then we will slowly add the water until we form a nice soft dough when you're making roti the most important part is the dough you want it to be nice and soft in order to get a soft flaky roti once the dough comes together you want to knead it for about three minutes not too long and if it becomes too sticky you can always add some flour once we're done we will allow this to sit for about 15 minutes before we move on to the next step after about 15 minutes we'll start the next process this part you will need a rolling pin and what i did was combine my oil and shortening this is what i have here next we will go ahead and separate the dough into five or six equal parts it all depends on how big or small you want your rotis so i will separate my dough into five equal parts and we will form some little dough balls with them and then we will start oiling the roti Next, we'll go ahead and flour our surface and then we'll roll the dough balls out. At this point, you don't need to get them super round. You just need to roll it out as wide as you can get them. And then we will place our oil and shortening on the entire dough. You want to cover the entire dough with your oil and shortening. We will place a slit right down the middle and roll it around into a cone. Then you want to tuck the ends in. You will tuck one end in and then you will tuck the other end in and that's it that's how simple it is we will repeat this process until we're all done and then i'll show you guys what's next So I'll show you guys this one last time and I'll slow it down so you guys can get it. We will now place the oil and shortening on the entire surface of the dough and then we will put one slit down the middle and you want to roll it around into a cone shape. Then we will tuck both ends inwards and that's it super simple the reason for doing this is this is what gives you the layers in the roti and th that's the reason we clap the roti or shake it in a mug because that opens up the layers it loosens up the layers and it's what makes the roti nice and flaky or super fluffy now you want to allow these to rest for at least 30 minutes before cooking it's very important to let them rest while they have the oil in them and now for the good part guys we'll now go ahead and start the cooking process you will need that bowl of extra flour for the rotis you want to grab one and just the way it is you want to just coat it in that flour do not fold it in do not do anything with it you might be tempted to form like a ball do not do that because you will mess with the layers and you won't get a nice flaky roti so you want to just coat it in the flour just the way it is and then you go ahead and roll it out at this point you want to make sure you get the roti as round as possible but if you cannot get it wrong it's no big deal because you know it's it's all about how the roti tastes and the softness of the roti and not so much about the shape because nobody cares about the shape when you're actually eating it you know 
Because one thing I've never been able to do was get the roti super round. That was the only thing I was not good at. And I don't care. I just do it the way I can and that's it. Now we'll head over to the tower and cook these rotis. Now let's place our roti on the tower. And I did grease my tower first before adding the roti. You want to keep your heat on low because you don't want this to cook super fast and burn. Once you see the bubbles start forming in the middle, you want to brush that oil mixture on the entire surface of the roti. And then we'll flip it over and brush it on the other side. You want to brush both sides with the oil and you want to flip it for like three to four times until you feel the roti is completely cooked. It doesn't take a long time to cook, about two minutes max and it's done. Now today I will be using a bowl to loosen the layers in my roti because I'm not very good at clapping. It burns my hands and I don't feel like putting myself through that torture. So we'll be using a bowl today and I'll show you guys that once we remove the roti. So this is the bowl I placed my roti in and we'll just shake the roti up in here and that will loosen up the layers and this is how it looks. The roti is super soft and so fluffy guys, trust me. This recipe is amazing and it's so simple, like it's not much. It's just some salt, baking powder and the flour but to me the difference in this is the shortening. The shortening makes a huge difference in the texture of the roti. Now we'll continue this process until we're all done. And here you have it guys, my amazing oil roti recipe. I did serve this up with some fried pumpkin and shrimp and it was absolutely divine. You know I can't wait to show off and show you guys how soft and just fluffy this roti is. I know you guys seen it before now but you know I, I just can't get over how soft it is and it's just perfect i really do hope you guys give this recipe a try if you enjoy my video please give it a thumbs up share it leave a comment down below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for me i will be leaving all my ingredients and measurements down in the description box and i'll see you guys in my next video have a good day and enjoy